Hello and welcome back to Let's Play 2 2013. I am 2K. And this is USPW episode 2. USPW is the... Okay. Is the hardest company for me to book. I don't quite wrap my head around what I'm supposed to be doing with them. Lots of angles. Um, lots of gimmicks, which I enjoy. And like I said, I'm going to be booking them like they're the modern day WWE. We will fall the cult. I, I'm going to say this every episode, I think. It'll probably happen in January. So a few of these guys might get the boot. And because it's Alicia Strong running it, not Sam Strong, a lot of the Sam Strong buddies might not be with the company anymore. So let's see how this goes. Andre Jones is a good... Um, he, he's a good project. He's decent in the ring and decent at entertaining. He can become better. I've done it. I promise. And he's a mid-carder to start. Um, expect him to kind of get a, a push. He was a jobber in the SWF before coming to USPW, so he has that um, cast-off stigma. Speaking of which, Atlas was in development in the SWF, and I don't think he, he never got called up. So he ended up going to USPW where he may end up in development again because he's he's not quite good enough yet, but he's young enough in that he can, I guess, do do big things with the company if, if booked correctly and the cat comes over on cue. She is gone whenever I'm not recording and then here. Bruce the Giant, legend character, giant... Um, Fought with Sam Strong a lot. Buddies with Sam Strong. Beyond that, uh, not not too much redeeming about him. He's a big guy. Uses menace. He's only an occasional worker, so big matches only. That that sort of thing. He's a it's a fun to book guy if you keep it light, like you once every four months or once every six months. Charlie Thatcher, terrible old, will be gone soon just can't do anything. I don't even know why he's on USPW. Um, just not not very good. Chris Crawfield, the Tommy Dreamer of the Cornellverse. Complete with the wrestling in a t-shirt. <laughs> I just, I mean, he's, he, I book him that way and as a, he's the hardcore American. So not only that that that's what took over because he can't be hardcore in a you know family friendly company. So instead of just using like a WWE CW style of fighting where chairs are once in a while brought into it, he's a hardcore American. I think it's intentionally stupid, but at the same time, it's. I mean, it, as a goofy gimmick, that's one of the cat. Look, that's one of the cat. That's one of the best. Cat, stop kicking the computer. Uh, DC Rain. Young face tag team who are currently the champions with Eddie Howard. Um, he's going to be par part of a love triangle with uh, involving Alicia Strong, the new owner. So that'll be fun. But before that, they really no gimmicks. So that's that is going to be their gimmick and it'll be fun. Danny Rushmore, old, really only redeeming quality is that he's big. I for some reason love pushing him. I think it's his beard. I'm going to try not to, but I'll probably end up pushing him. It's a beard, man. Daryl Devine, really out of place in this company. He's young and he's talented. Expect him to actually get a push now that I'm booking him like WWE. So, there you go. Dusty DeCant. Expect him in development soon. He's just a big monster character who's not very good. Think like Gene Snitsky. Um, except with an emo haircut. And I know a lot of you kind of just marked for Gene Snitsky with an emo haircut wrestling. And for Dusty DeCant in general. So maybe I won't put him in development. We'll see. We'll see what I can do with him. Eddie Howard, the other half of the Natural Storm with DC Rain. 
he's also going to be involved in that love triangle, though he's not the one actually going after Alicia. He's just going to be helping his buddy DC. So, yep, there you go. Enigma. Uh, he is a good, not great wrestler who became very popular. Uh, got a title run in SWF. The title run exploited how good, not great he was. So he left, which I don't get. Why not just stick around in the mid card of the biggest company in the world instead of going to main event in the, you know, at the time, third best company and a cult company at that. But money talks. Look at that contract size. 20 grand a month. And he is probably our biggest star. Although, expect him to kind of drift down to the mid card here too. Hopefully he won't leave and go to like New York City wrestling or something. Can you tell I don't like Enigma that much? Freddie Datsun, he's kind of a lumberjacky, blue collar type guy. That's all I got. He's older, so he drifted down to the mid card. Giant Redwood, absolute trash and rubbish in everything that he does. Should not be wrestling ever. Absolute garbage. Great Kali level bad. Just bad. However, he's a good politician and Sam Strong fell for his politics. So he kept getting pushed. Expect him to fall and fall hard. Uh, James Justice. He was Liberty in TCW and became huge there. Kind of like Ricky Dale Johnson where he, he wasn't good based on his skills. He was good based on who he faced. And he translated that into a big money contract. The size of Enigma is here. Although his skills and popularity sort of warranted a little bit more. He's also old. So he'll be used sort of to build people up. But we don't even have the people to build up right now. So not yet. Java. Big monster tag team guy. I love him. He worked in Japan, um, he works a savage gimmick. Right now he's a face, he might stay a face for a while, and might get an actual push. He's old, which makes me sad, but I love him. He works with Tribal Warrior, who is another, um, another savage type character. They will both be getting pushes, Java more so, because Java's my favorite. I don't know why. Ooh, apologies. I hit the mic there. <sighs> trying to get some of this fur that my cat deposited it all over the place because she's shedding off my face. Jumbo Jackson. So boring I would rather talk about my cat. He's a big guy. He works for Shane Sneer. He is an enforcer character. He's young enough that I can keep pushing him and not have to worry about him retiring anytime soon. Those are his pros. His cons are he's average at best in the ring. Crusher Karloff, should not even be in this company, old, not popular enough, happens to be working a decent gimmick with um, Petra Novak and will be part of, it. he'll be the enforcer for Petra for the Love Triangle storyline. McMuscles, also older, big guy, he works badass gimmick, he's, I don't know. Scott Steiner with less skills. She's not very good. Nikki Champion. The only redeeming quality of this roster right now is Nikki Champion and how popular he is. He is, you know, Sam Strong's disciple. And expect him to get the John Cena push of a lifetime in my um, version. He's going to be blowing through heels like it's going out of style. So, he's going to be key in getting those who are um, too old back down to the where they belong. Peter Valentine, he's going to get cut soon. Right now, he's an upper mid-carder. I'm going to milk his overness down to younger people and then kick his backside out the door. Petronovic, he's one of the people who will be going up. 
used to be known as a big problem. A huge favorite of mine has a steroid problem, but in USBW, I don't care. Um, I really don't. He's working a comrade gimmick, which is fun, especially since he will be trying to date the owner, Alicia Strong, who is a all-American style worker. Um, expect fun from him and pushes. Fun and push. Uh, Running Wolf is a young guy. He looks old, but he's actually the youngest guy in the roster. 25 years old. He might get a push. He's not great in the ring, but he's good enough to stick around. The Force, young enough to get that push to be the second uh, face right now. So he will be the guy that everyone beats for the number one contendership. Sort of a ultimate warrior type character. Absolutely amazing to write for. But since I'm not writing, he'll kind of just sway around the roster. T-Rex. He's going to get jobbed and hard. I don't like him. His real only redeeming quality is he has a um, 100 menace. And that can be used to boost him up. So I will do that, but he won't win many matches. He'll just kind of menace his way into matches and then lose them. Tribal Warrior. See what I said about Java? I just happen to not like him as much. You know, big Samoan powerhouse guy. Works a savage, but working as a face now. Older, so hopefully he'll get a lot of, um... I guess a lot of, a lot of run with his... Gimmick. I hope he stays around for a while. Tyson Bain. Older, but I don't care. He's going to stay in the main event until he retires. He is great on the mic, in the ring. Not absolutely amazing, but great. I relate him to Kane in that he, he's willing to put people over. He also got a big money contract. So I could, the, the money kind of warrants him being there as well. I like him. I like working with him. You know, he, he's a good character because he's, you know, the evil hell spawn and he never actually became this what Kane became where he bounced back and forth so much that it killed his character. Now, something that USPW has that the other two companies don't. A women's division. And how? One of the best. They have Alicia Strong, who is my character, the owner, the probably best women's wrestler in the world, young. Um, popular Sam Strong's daughter so basically Brooke Hogan if Brooke Hogan was an absolute beast of a wrestler Bell Bryden one of the best workers uh, of all time I'd relate her to Gail Kim and that's kind of how I book her the the I'm so much better than you I don't need this crap type worker um, she's been working for a long time and has done everything really good expect a strong v brighton um sh oh thank you i i needed that no nope. go away a strong brighton feud for the title shortly spoilers cherry bomb old again great sort of um hard hitting suplex uh power bomb type worker apparently she's great at um like psycho interviews which I don't know if that means like screaming and yelling or if that means like AJ Lee just kind of absolutely batshit insane I usually book her as screamy yelly psycho type character and um she suffers because she's probably the second best um heel to Bryden so she'll usually be the first one who's offered like she'll get a good feud in but she'll probably never win the title type thing and that's sad because she's also getting older uh, Gorgon basically the person I'll be molding to be the next cherry bomb she'll be you know big tough big tough woman same same kind of wrestler hopefully she can become big and but I don't know it, it's it's rough because she's 32 and that is oldish for women 
So we'll see how it goes. Melody, also 32, has achieved a lot more than Gorgon has, is the current champion, a two-time champion, and was a big champion in North of the Border Pro Wrestling, the Canadian company who has an absolute amazing women's roster. So she's done it in both uh, women's companies in North America. So a, a star almost in women's wrestling. She will hold that belt for a little while, but I do have another storyline in, in mind that I want to run with. Raven Robinson, unfortunately, falls to being the third best face on the roster, although she'd be the second best heel if she ever turned, and she might if I want to carry the uh, the Melody Reign a little longer. Um, She's working like a, a girl next door gimmick. She really works a goth gimmick, which is really good, but that doesn't work too well as a face in USPW. Um, expect her to turn before she retires. She's 36. I, I'm debating on whether her or Bryden deserve that one last run type run. One of them will get it, though. Um, Tiffany Jade. It's young. Decent, but way too young to really do anything besides job here. Also a heel, so she is fourth on the heel pecking order. Or third on the heel pecking order, I should say. Fourth. You're, no, I was right the first time. Cherry Bomb, Gorgon, Tiffany Jade. So, she all she does is job. Uh, but she's young, and she could really become something. I also hired Ursula Saiz. And she'll be working a face once in a while. I might bring her up to the main roster to be the fourth face and the jobber face. She's young. She'll also be good. Expect Tiffany Jade and, and Ursula Saiz to be the cornerstones when the current cornerstones start leaving. So there's your roster. Now you know it. Uh, I'll be back for booking the show. I don't know if I'm going to do it today because I look to be running out of time. But I will definitely see you crazy cats at the first USPW American Wrestling show. Till then, have a good one.